I received a comment in the last video um, just about how to save uh, JSON data to a specific uh, place, a sort of in like a nested object. So what I'm going to do here is basically we're going to have a person, uh, we'll have several people, and um, we'll save that to the data.json file. And then within that person, we're going to have a nested object called pets. And then we're going to sort of save uh, the pets um, as an object within that object. Um, it's all going to be timestamped, so just skip to where you need to get to, or just skip to the end so you can see the code or how it works or whatever. All right, so first of all, just going to explain what we've got here. We've just got two files, uh, a data.json file, which is empty, and then also our sort of server. Um, we're loading the JSON file um, with, a, uh, with FS, read file sync. We've got our save data function here to save the um, JSON data. And then we've also got our objects. So we've got new pet one and also new pet two. I suppose maybe we can just call these pets. So we've got pet one and pet two. As you can see, pet one's our dog and pet two is our cat. We've also got a person, his name's Joe and he's 32. But what I'm gonna be doing is we're gonna have loads of people. So I'm just gonna keep on sort of changing this object. Um, but you need to try and think of it as if this is like a server and um, we've got our data sort of hitting our server. So it's gonna be different each time. So with explaining all of that, the next thing, the, the first thing that we want to do is create our save user function. So we can do that with const, uh, say, save user. And then what we want to pass through to this user is a person. And the first part that we want to do within this function is create our new person. So oh, we'll just do const new person. And then within this object, we're going to want the um, we want this data here. So all we'll do is name, and then it will be person dot name, and then we we'll want age, and that would also be person dot age. Now another thing, an extra sort of piece of information that we want to put into um, this object is the uh, is pets, because we want to know what, what pets have this person got. And we're going to later be saving um, JSON data to um, this part of our object. So we do pets, and then we just have an empty object here. So now we've got sort of our new person object created. The next thing that we want to do is save this person to the data.json file. And the way in how we can do that is by doing data. So we're to show you at the top here, we're doing const data equals json.pass read file sync. So we're grabbing hold of this JSON file. So we're doing data. And then the first thing that we want to think about is okay, we've got hold of our data um, file, but what do we want to save? What what it's, we don't want to save it as new person, do we? Like we, we want to uh, give it, it, it should be a, um, a unique identifier. So you wouldn't really do name, but for the example, we'll do name. So what we would do is do person, no, we'll do new person dot, oh, it doesn't matter. We can do person dot name or new person dot name, but we'll just do person dot name for now. And then what do we want this um, object to equal? Or well, we want it to equal our new person. So that is it for our save user function. Now, if I was to run this function, save user, and then we need to remember to also pass in the person. Bring that up. And then if we do node server, Oh, 
No, I forgot to do something there. We need to do uh, save data. We need to do our save data function. Uh, we need to call that. And then we want to resave this JSON file. So we want to do um, data and then data.json. Now we want to run the, fi run the um, file when it wants to do that. As you can see here, we've got saved because this function has just been called. If we go to our data.json, we now have Joe. So this bit here, person.name is what we've called our object. We've called it Joe. And then we've made it equal to new person. And new person is all of this information here. So we've got Joe, and then we've got him as an object with all of that data inside. And we also have our pets. So it isn't saving this up here. It's actually saving what we've created down here. So if we had a new piece of data coming through and it's another person and he's called Clive and he's 60. Now, if we rerun this, say it's like saving another person, we go to data.json, we've still got Joe in there, but we also have another person called Clive. So if we just keep on, say someone called Sandy, and how old is she? She can be, I don't know, 27. And then, oh, I hate thinking of names on the top of my head. I'm, I'm really bad at names as it is. Um, Oh, I can think of dog names. Let's just say, oh, goodness me, Mary. She can be, um, I don't know, 53. And then we save that. As you can see, we're getting all of these um, people sort of being saved to our data.json file now. So the next part of the video, um, we want to save the pets or whatever pets they've got but we want to target um, the pets object and save it inside that object. So I'm going to comment this out because we don't want to save any more people. And then what we want to do is create a function where we're saving um, the pet. So if we just do const save pet, and then we need to we're going to be passing through a pet. And the first part, once again, is we're creating our new pet. So we'll do const new pet, just like the new person. And then what, what is this object going to hold? Well, at the top here, I'm just going to bring this down because we don't need it for now. Make it so I can still see it though. At the top here, we've got um, all of our data. So yeah, these are from examples. Well, let's call you Clive. One thing that we, uh, I'll go in that after. So we've got our um, data up here and we know that we've got name, animal, breed, color, and owner. So just to make things easier for me, I'm just gonna bring that down and then just put that down there. So within this new pet object, we're going to want the pet's name. So that is going to be pet. Oh, so that's going to be name. And then pet.name. Say pet.name because we're passing through pet. And we know that there's going to be um, name in there. And then there's exactly the same. So we'll have animal. And then that'll be pet.animal. You don't need me to go through all of these, so I'm just gonna quickly type them all out. Hopefully I have no spelling errors either. Um, color, pet.color. And then, oh well, yeah, we don't, we don't need the item in there. So, Now we've got um, that information in there. The next thing that we need to do is say, okay, so we now need to save this object within our pets object. So we need to target 
this part here. We also need to target which person are we saving it to. So who does this pet belong to? So if we come up here, we're going to do, um, it doesn't really matter. Just trying to think of how, how I can explain it. If we've got, we're going to grab hold of our data um, JSON file. And then the next part within square brackets is we need to say, okay, who are we targeting? So which, which object are we going to go for? Who, who does the pet belong to? So within our pet um, information, or within our pet object, we've got owner. So what we can do is type pets the owner, and then whereabouts within that owner object or within that person do we then want to save our data? Well, we want to save it within pets, and it's going to be the exact same every single time. So we can now do pets. And then very similar to when we're saving the person, what, what do we want to save that pet as? So should we save it as the pet name or the pet animal? Usually you would do it as, um, what, I can't think what it's called, like a unique identifier. So it's not gonna be, you're not gonna constantly repeat it, which then means your data isn't gonna be overwritten. But for now, we'll just use their name. And then we know that the name is within pet.name. And then exactly the same as when we're saving the person, what do we want all of this to equal? Well, we want it to equal our new pet. We want all of this information stored within that object. So we'll say new pet. We then want to save all of this. So we'll do save data. And then where do we want to save it? Oh no, sorry, what do we want to save? We want to save our data. And then we want to save it within um, data.json. So if we call our function and we do save pet, and then if we pass in pet one, and pet one belongs to the owner Clive. Now, one thing that you need to really make sure is we're saving it within um, the owners. However, as you can see here, Clive's got a capital letter. He starts with a capital C. Our owner here is lowercase, so it won't match up. We need to make sure that the owner is the owner value is the exact same as to where we're saving it, otherwise you're going to hit errors. So if we do save pet and then we want to save pet1, if we run our file, what you'll see here, let's just bring this up, is it's now been run, it's saved. We'll go to data.json, and as you'll see here, we've now got Pets, Manson, and then all of his information here. Now, if we wanted to save Pet2 there, all we've got to do is just grab hold of that um, Pet2 object and then run it through our function. Now, this Pet2 isn't going to overwrite Pet1 because... Um, it's got a completely different name. Now, if Pet2 had the exact same name as Pet1, it would overwrite it, and that's why you need to look at um, unique identifiers. So if we just run this, what is going on? Oh, sorry, I thought I had this here. So it's targeted Joe and then it's saved Faro within pets. Now, if I changed the owner to Clive and then did run again, because we're saving pet two. Cannot read property of pets undefined.
And that's because, goodness me, that's because it needs to do a capital C. <laughs> right, now we're we'll saving. And then as you'll see here, we've got pets, we've got Manson here, and then we've also got Pharaoh saved underneath. And then, I don't know, say we wanted to save it to Mary, then I'm just going to double check her name. Yeah, it is uppercase. Saving it to Mary. That's also pet two. Save pet two. And then we'll go to our data.json, go down to Mary and see she's now been saved. She's got Pharaoh underneath there as well. 